Are you fucking kidding me? You can make this! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! What are we making tonight? We're making a motherfucking... You see that? That's a fucking deep dish. We're doing a deep dish pizza, okay? And you meat lovers, what am I gonna eat? Holy shit, I'm gonna fucking put three, three types of fucking meat on this pizza. I'm making the sauce, doing everything from scratch. You're gonna love it. Took a little break, I had a lot of stuff going on, uh, but here we are, back at the hard truth. Tell you what we're gonna make in a minute. First, let me tell you what I've been doing. Cause I'm never lazy, that's for fuck's sake sure. I am never lazy, I always got some shit going on. So uh, we were out on tour with Crow Mags for over a month and uh, went all over the country. It was an uh, awesome experience. And just being out there going everywhere and seeing how many people are going plant-based and getting sober and getting off the drugs and all the rest of the stuff you start cleaning out your fucking mind of all the drugs and the crap, the next thing is you start questioning, hey, can I feel better? Can I work out? What do I eat to work out? So it's, it's a progress. It's all progress. So I went to Chattanooga. I was behind in my training. I had a good swim. It was a half Ironman. So it was 1.2 mile swim, 56 bike, and 13.1 uh, mile run. It was my first uh, half Ironman ever. We did it with uh, training with Brian Rose and London Real TV, the Iron Mind series. I don't know if y'all caught that, but this shit, it was inspiring a lot of people to start training again and eating right and all the rest of it. And that's why I do all this shit, you know? We have to make the crust first. I'm gonna post a recipe. You take your cornmeal, your unbleached flour, and your whole wheat flour, you put your salt in there, and then you whisk that together, and you knead your dough. Took me about 12 minutes, I just kept working it. I kept thinking of people I don't fucking like, and I was pounding it. Just kidding, I like everybody. But that's what you gotta do, you gotta beat the fucking shit out of it, right? And then you just let it sit. You gotta let it sit cover for an hour, it's gonna double in size and get fluffy and real nice. So that's where we're at now. And we gotta work this. You know, nothing's perfect. See, we're working it on the side. We push the, ex the excess back to the middle. Kids love pizza. And it's fun to make pizza with your family, with your kids. Get everybody to help out. Do family activities. Make shit fun. Kids will eat this food if you make it fun for them. So this is everything for the salad. We got our pizza toppings. You gotta have some veggies on your pizza, come on. You know, eat your fucking veggies, you motherfuckers. Look at that. Just to save time, we're gonna do a combination of uh, vine ripened tomatoes and these plum tomatoes. This is about 28 ounces. Again, I'm gonna give you the uh, Gonna give you the recipe. We're gonna do all four cans because we're doing the big pie. Sauce going. I'm gonna cube this. As you can see, I want big, nice big chunks. And I'm gonna cut these into eighths. Boom. Take the organic. See that nine? What I fucking tell you about the nine? Dine on the nine, right? Did you see? Oh, listen to the. Dr. Zach Bush interview on the Rich Roll podcast about glyphosate and fucking pesticides. I've been telling you fucking people all along that my shit is backed up by motherfucking doctors and research. You know, people want to act like I'm uh, making this shit up. And what did he say? The shit is ruining people's fucking stomachs and health and the health of the planet. I forget how many million pounds of glyphosate gets sprayed all over the planet every year. It's ended up in the oceans. It's ended up evaporating, raining down on people. It's a fucking poison. So stop fucking using it. 
That's why we use organic, the nine. Uh, let's get some of our spices that I like. I like my Indian spices in my Italian food, right? So we want that to get good and hot. Right? That's going to be about a teaspoon and a half of mustard seeds. Do one teaspoon of cumin. Now you're going to hear the mustard seeds start to pop. That's pop, 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 pop. That's when they release their flavor. Go. You ready? Listen to this. Oh! So we want these to cook down and get the spicing in there. And once the, uh, I add the sauce, the pureed tomatoes, then I'm gonna add my salt and I'm gonna add my Italian seasoning and let that cook down very nicely. We're doing three meats, I told you, right? So look what we got here. We got, this is non-GMO, certified. Listen. We don't want man boobs, and we don't want chick beards. Everybody asks me, you know, what's going on with all the soy all the fucking time. So we got three types of meat. If you love meat, you got fucking garden meatball pizza, you got fucking chicken strips, and you got fucking sausage. These are awesome. So we're going to do a bunch of really cool stuff on top of this pizza. Your kids will love it. Doing boom. Two, three, and as they say in Spanish, uno fucking más. Boom! Hey, Goomba! You want your fucking Italian seasoning? There it is. Except I take it to the next level. You see what that says? Non irritated, non GMO. Do you know that they shoot radiation into your fucking spices? Did you fucking know that? Is there anything that they don't fucking contaminate? All right, so this is an Italian seasoning mix. So there we go. And let's do a little black pepper. Where's your black pepper? This ain't what it looks like. Not that there's anything wrong with that, if that's what you're into. Now, the way you do these, these garden meatballs, you take them right out of the freezer, right? And you just put them right in your sauce. You're going to let them cook in there. And those are going to cook with this sauce, all right? Look at that. So the next thing we're going to do is the... Italian sausage, non-GMO, high fucking protein. We're gonna let that heat up. Your grandmother, if she was from fucking Sicily, would come in here and be like, holy shit, she wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That's how good this food is. So we got the oven set for 425, right? We're gonna bake this for 10 minutes and then pull it out Put our stuff in there. All right, so the next thing, we're gonna do some toppings on this pizza. And the broccoli, we're gonna lightly steam it. Do not buy conventional. Buy organic. Organic. Pay the extra, invest in your fucking health. You went out, you're buying all this bullshit that you don't need, and then you're complaining that shit's too expensive. I got news for you. Invest in your motherfucking health, and I've been telling you all that, all right? See what the fuck's going on over here. See, look, it's starting to get tender, right? Look at the colors. Green, red, we're eating the fucking rainbow over here. All right, so now we start assembling our pizza. Oh, we got fucking chicken, oh. Italian mozzarella style. And we don't need to go all crazy with this. This is, you know, you fucking guys, you eat so much fucking cheese, it's coming out of your asses. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Look at this, man. 
This is incredible. This is going in 425 and uh, it's going in for 25 minutes at 425. So let's watch our watches. And uh, we're also doing a Caesar salad. Did you know cooking was a workout? Look at this. Shoulder press. So we're gonna shred this up fine. Meat takes seven years sometimes. You could, <laughs> and people that do colonics will attest. I'm gonna tell you a story. Don't eat nothing if you're listening to this. So this guy had every symptom of having a large tapeworm in his stomach, right? Always hungry, shit was going on. So the doctor made him fast, no food. Gave him these herbs that made the worm want to get out of the dude's ass. He held food by the dude's asshole. This is a true story. And the worm poked its head out and the doctor grabbed the fucking thing and the fucking worm was over two feet long. When you're eating meat and you're eating all these animals, you don't know what the fuck you're getting. They had this whole big thing about the scare of lettuce coming from Arizona. This ain't from Arizona. But these farmers take from the pig slaughterhouses and the CAFOs, the concentrated animal feeding operations, there'll be lagoons. When you got 100,000 pigs, you got lagoons of shit. Hundreds and thousands of gallons of fucking manure. Farmers were taking that shit, diseased as fuck, and spraying it all over the crops. That's what happens. They make it sound like, oh, the farm hands didn't wash their fucking hands. That's bullshit. If you watch what the health about North Carolina and the pig industries and how they're polluting the environment, then you get your fucking wake up call. You need to watch these movies. Speaking of what the health, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. I'm doing a documentary film with Kip Anderson, who did what the health and cowspiracy, right? And Paul de Gelder. Paul de Gelder was a Navy clearance diver in Australia. He had, uh, he was doing a counterterrorism operation. I think it was like 30 years no shark had ever attacked anyone in Sydney Harbor. Doing a counterterrorism operation, a bull shark came and took his arm and his leg and he almost died. You gotta read his book. You will bug the fuck out. I'm reading it now. It's called No Time for Fear, right? He flatlined several times, almost died, came back. The dude bench presses 300 fucking pounds now. More importantly, he has gone plant-based. He's on Shark Week all the time. Uh, and, and the Discovery Channel. And he fights for the conservation of sharks in the ocean to stop the culling of the fucking sharks and, and murdering them for their fins, these fucking morons that think shark fin soup, cartilage, and all this shit is good for you. And we start shooting this summer, so keep tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna make our salad dressing, so we got a half cup of raw cashews that have been soaked, Quarter cup of water. What else we got? Worcestershire shores. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Dijon mustard. So by rubbing the dressing in with the salt and the lemon, it softens the kale. So you want to massage it a little bit. See how I'm doing that? Look at that now. And you need to do this, because otherwise, Kale don't taste good if you don't do this, so we're rubbing it in. I'm gonna rinse this out, and we're gonna make our Parmesan. All right. Oh, good Lord. Holy shit. I wish you were here. Ah, 
There's our Parmesan crumbles. You want to mix it, toss it. You got to toss the salad, fellas. I keep telling you that. Get a close up of that. Look at that fucking Caesar salad. The moment of truth. Oh. Look at that. Golden brown. Look at that. Where our ro veggies are roasted. Look at the steam coming off of that sucker. Good lord. Ah. Oh. Look at that. That is a meal, my friends. All right, you got your cheese in there. We didn't go overboard on the cheese. We got the meatballs, we got the veggies, the soy sausage, the chicken, and because you did it in sauce. You think I don't know fucking Italians? They cook fucking chicken cacciatore? Spicy fucking sauce with chicken? You got everything here. Give the animals a fucking break, all right? You see what we're making. What the fuck is the need for you to eat a dead, decapitated, rotting fucking corpse? Okay, what is the sense? Look at this. Anybody could do this. The same shit I tell you with Iron Man or anything else. You fucking apply yourself and you get it done. That's what we did here. You saw the stages we did. Now we got a deep dish pizza. What the fuck? I'm ready to eat. You hungry, Reese? Let's do this. Episode fucking done. <laughs>